welcome back another day of vlogmas so today we have another well the same special guest the very best special guest you want to introduce yourself they know me no i'm joking Hi. i'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> deja you know her best friend so today we're gonna be doing a like holiday favorites q a type thing let's hop straight into it oh wait before we do go ahead like comment subscribe press the notification bell and let us know some of these um questions let us know your favorites so the first mm. one eggnog or hot chocolate <laughs> hot chocolate of course eggnog is nasty to me same hot chocolate can't do it colored lights or white lights Co on the uh, tree slash house colored lights I say white lights because I like it looks more classy, you know, classic. I mean, the color lights, like the blue and the purple, like those ones, like they're nice. But like the red and green, I probably wouldn't do that. I'm basic white lights. <laughs> white lights. When do you hang up your decorations? And when do you take them down? The, for me, the Christmas tree, I don't hang up any decorations. The Christmas tree is huge. It's gotten to be like a week before Christmas. We've been busy. When do you take <laughs> it down? A couple weeks after Christmas. <laughs> okay, we're completely different on that one. Because yeah. um, if I was at home, the tree would go up like right after Thanksgiving. Probably like the weekend after Thanksgiving. And my family, we take it down before the New Year because like... I think it was my grandma that started it had like a superstition about leaving it out going into the new year so with the, that week after christmas the tree has to come down before new year's that's that's law oh, something something that's your dog that's, that's all <laughs> what is your favorite holiday dish Thanksgiving and Christmas food is so like the same. Similar. I mean, hands down, sweet potato pie. Oh. Well, mine is macaroni because I live for the macaroni and I live for the desserts. Banana pudding. Yeah, I love banana pudding. We don't have any like holiday desserts that are always. Mm -hmm. Like I just I come for the dessert and the macaroni. So if you invite me to your house and that's good, I'll be straight. You got some sweet potatoes or like chicken. Or like a jerked turkey. That's a special like item a for turkey you. that's just not dry. You can't have no dry. Turkey. I feel like turkey like, always dry. I need turkey. some Cajun turkey. Oh, the Popeyes turkey. It's a hit. So next year, y'all better go get y'all one. It's good. The Popeyes Cajun turkey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What's your favorite <laughs> holiday memory as a child? Bouncing from house to house. And still having like a good five, six gifts under the um the trees. <laughs> I can't relate. So <laughs> my f okay, this is such an odd memory to have, but I remember like the house that we lived in. Me and my sister roomed together, and our room was like the second to last in the hallway. And this is like this is so random, but I used to love like in the middle of the night when I'm asleep, when I wake up and look right outside my door like i could see the lights mm -hmm. from the tree <laughs> bouncing off the wall and yeah. like i don't know why like that just made me so happy and you know and um i miss christmas when i was like the ch when i was a child and you know because when you're a child people work very hard i guess to make christmas fun and festive and stuff like that mm -hmm. when you get old nobody cares and that's sad so apparently I have trying to, to trying to be loud because I'm wrong. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah, um, Christmas isn't. <laughs> you have to make your own Christmas festive as you get older, and that's what I've learned. So yeah. that's kind of sad, but it's okay. I still have my childhood memories. Can <laughs> <laughs> I do my unboxing? You want to unbox your shoes? Come on, mom. Really do this, or you know what you're supposed to say. But anyway, I'm gonna say <laughs> I'm unboxing this beautiful boot by rock and candy just my style perfect right that was nice is that all i'm supposed to say <laughs> tan fur lined there you go get a spec yeah not too heavy 
perfect for a woman of my age bracket because you know I don't like to have on too many tall, heavy, <laughs> hot things. Tall, heavy, hot things. Because shh, I'm already hot. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do the unboxing of an Easy Street Comfort Wave. I know y'all think that's an old lady shoe, right? Well, it is. <laughs> and it's cute though. Cause you know, mostly everything I wear is cute. Look at that, isn't that adorable? Just enough heel for a woman of my wisdom. Yes. With uh, with this little detail in the front. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and that oh. is my shoe unboxing. Sorry, they weren't Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> Back to business. Okay. Um. Do you open gifts on Christmas Eve? No. For me, back when, well, when I was younger, my mom used to let us open our smallest oh. gift on Christmas Eve. But nowadays, I guess I don't. Yeah, the most I've done is open a gift like exactly at midnight on Christmas. So. And one year, our smallest gift was a pack of markers. When I say I was so <laughs> mad, at, I mean, I was grateful. Don't get me wrong. They were metallic markers. But I'm like, dang, bro. I thought it was going to be something juicy. It's some markers. I guess I'll color with them tonight. Mm -hmm. What are two things that are on your Christmas wish list this year? Ha! Y'all follow me on Instagram. I'm pretty sure you guys saw it saw it because I posted everything I wanted on, on Instagram. Um, I guess, okay, so one would definitely be a camera. And two, um, a silver watch. Yeah, I'm basically you know yeah i'm basic too because i told her like two things when it's not christmas i could think of a thousand things that i want but around christmas right. it's like it, my memory wipes and i don't know what the heck i want every year i ask her like tasha what you want for christmas she like um no one can be knowing what you want i really don't sometimes but the two things that i told her which i really do want they're very functional items but i want them um a headphone cover for my beats because when i sweat at the gym y'all drenched drenched really really and then i want new headphone pads like you know the actual pads that are on there because mine are ripping i'm gonna be honest they smell like sweat from working out so you know it's just time for new those are two things that yeah, i know i definitely some, want uh, leather headphones i thought they were leather i mean what's the one i don't know okay <laughs> Snow, do you love it or dread it? I'm in the middle. I like when it first comes down, but then I dread it when it's like I got to drop in this and it's getting all slushy and people can't drive. And... I like it when you have to do activities in it, like sledding, you know, ice skating. You know, it's nice decoration. But when you got to live in it and you got to take it off your car, I'd be like, Ugh, you want it. too much. I agree. I like it once it settles, if that makes sense. Like, like once it's it's, settled, it's like, settled but not warm enough where it's turning into like brown slush and stuff like that like mm -hmm. once it settles and you've uh shoveled and stuff and it's just on your lawn and whatever it like it's down. whatever especially like once the once the streets are clear we're good yeah but like as it's falling when people are losing their minds and all of a sudden <laughs> forgetting how to drive it's a no yeah or like when you have to be out in it <laughs> Or we just out in it and it's just going crazy. Like, no. Yeah. But definitely. I wanted to go uh, sledding, but clearly that's not going to happen because there's no snow. Not right now, at least. Yeah, right now. What's the most important thing about Christmas to you? For real, just seeing people you love. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, the gifts is a plus, but, you know, being able to go. Like, back in the day, like, I had way more houses to go to. And now I think about it now, it's kind of sad that, you know, I'm only at, like, my house and... Tasha, I was like, it's, I don't know. Everybody don't come together as much, but that's what I, I agree. Mean, so, yeah. I agree. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a good, like, solid six houses to go to, you know? You popular. We never had, I used to have, like, three houses to go to. My mom's, my cousin, well, both of my cousins. Like, my dad's cousin and then my mom's cousin. Mm -hmm. But, like... To me, the most important thing is, you know, being able to, like, spend time with everybody. 
And I think just like the magical feeling of it. Like when I say like <laughs> I'm interested to see how it goes this year because weird really doesn't feel like for the past couple of years it hasn't been feeling like Christmas was even coming. Mm -hmm. But like when I was a child, it just seemed like it was such just a so magical and beautiful time, which that's the like the plus of having kids in your family. Like my family is full of older people. Like for a long time, I was that kid. Yeah, we have my nephew, and he's like the youngest person in the family. But even like he's getting older, so it's just like it's not magical like what it was. And like I mm -hmm. said earlier, when you get early, I mean when you get older. <laughs> When you get older, like, everybody loses spark about it, and they don't care about making it magical anymore mm -hmm. because you're not a kid anymore. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, and then, like, as kids, you have so many Christmas events that you're going to leading up to Christmas. Like, you're either going on something like Disney on Ice, or you going to the, Winter Wonder Fest. Like the Winter Wonder Fest, the parade, you got stuff at school, you got little Christmas parties, stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. we went to a pop-up shop. That what? No, we <laughs> went to a pop-up shop. <laughs> What's your favorite tradition the only tradition that i've only really been following was coming to your house for birthdays or christmas yeah that's the and only tra really tradition that no. we have for christmas but for new year we go lady okay period my mom cooks cooks and we eat honey and we eat we play games yeah that's fun too what tops your tree a star we used to have a black angel on top, but I think right now it's a star, even though mm -hmm. my ceiling is too low for it. So we have to Jimmy rig it every year, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's beside the point. Yeah, she be, she be like, oh, I'm <laughs> I'm weak. what's your favorite Christmas movie? We say at the same time. I'm, I'm sure we got the same one. Okay. One, two, three. The Polar, Polar Express. Express. But my second favorite is the Grinch, the the like the first Grinch, not the fake ones, but the Grinch, my second one. And I don't have a second favorite, honestly. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. The, the Polar, Polar Express, Express is everything, okay? We actually went to the live Polar Express where we actually on the got train. on the train and had to wear like pajamas. She might have to like find a picture of it. <laughs> I'll insert um, it. Yeah. So that was actually fun. They got the hot chocolate and everything in the song. So. Yeah, they danced and stuff. Mm -hmm. like, that was lit. Okay. Yeah, they went. Candy canes, yuck or yum? Yum. I don't know. I crave guess, them. I put it's them on not tape. a. It's not either for me. It's like if I want something peppermint, then cool. Mm -hmm. I just don't like them because most times you get them, they're already like broke. Like they're broken already. It's not like a solid candy cane. Maybe because we get them from Dollar Store. Oh, <laughs> get yours yeah. from Target. Instead. Yeah. Ooh, no, they're gonna do too much. But the ones that taste like. Like that's not the peppermint like flavor. Candies. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Those are good. Those are good. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite Christmas song? Destiny's Child. Um, what the Christmas melody? The the, the on, on the first day of Christmas, Christmas, my baby getting me. Yeah, yeah. The, the video was really one. cool. On that. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so I got a little running list. For the first one is hands down the Christmas song by Nat King Cole. That's a classic. And I remember that song, it just means so much to me because the first time that I vividly remember hearing it, I was in the, my granny's kitchen with her and my dad and like they were playing it. And it, I don't, like I said, everything just seemed so magical. So it just seemed so magical. And we were listening to it and I was just like, wow, I love this song. Yeah. Also, it's not Christmas if I don't hear, um... If I don't I'm hear ratchet. like, she's so I'm not gonna say the names <laughs> of the songs because it's a lot of songs. Like some Jackson Five Christmas music, some Boys to Men Christmas music, and some Temptations Christmas music. Y'all, you need that in your life. In fact, I created a playlist on Apple Music of it. If y'all want it, let me know. You got a Christmas playlist? I do. It's called Black Christmas Excellence. What you? What, when do you listen to that? And jump? When is around Christmas in the car? Oh, in the car? Yeah. That's nice. You're a good person. Last one. Do you prefer to shop online or at the mall? Both. But preferably the mall. Mm. Because 
I don't know. When you online, you know that one specific thing you're going to get. But when you're at the mall, you can kind of like, if you don't know for like 100% what you'll get for a person, you kind of bounce around, you know. But if you are going to shop online, I'd rather you guys just shop on Cyber Monday and then go to the mall with some other deals online. But the mall is fun, you know. You got everybody in there. You got Santa Claus and stuff. It give you more of a Christmas spirit to actually get people things. So that's what I say. Okay. Um, in a perfect world, I would say online because here's my perfect ideal Christmas shopping mm. to shop all year round and just save the stuff and give it to the people. So like, as I see things that I like for people to just get it, but mm -hmm. that's so hard to do because a lot of times my mind just isn't there or I'll be like, Ooh, let me start looking for stuff. And I see something that I want, but, um, girl, I, no, I'm just we gonna see about that Christmas and being like, selfish. Okay. But yeah, I like online shopping and I'm really good at finding deals with online shopping. That's why I like it. Um Cold Queen. Yeah. Promo code queen. Yeah, you gotta search for the promo codes. Retail Me Not has a lot of good ones. Not yeah. sponsored by them, but if y'all want to sponsor me, let me know. Period. Um, yeah, so I would prefer online, but like for instance, this year. Don't got the time, cause I'm starting late, so I gotta go to the store. And the store is okay too. And like she said, sometimes I will go and literally have no idea what I want to get people. And then I see this, I'm like, oh, they would love this. I'm gonna get this for them. Bath and so, Body Works kits. Yeah, like that's the good thing about the store. You can just throw some stuff together. And the one thing that I like about now is like, for instance, this week when I go shopping, I'm gonna do it during the dead of the day because more your average person's at work. That way it won't be so crowded. Because the thing, the crowds make me hot when I go holiday shopping. Mm -hmm. So that's why, here, let me teach you all a key. Here's a key. When you go Christmas shopping, wear a sweater or something long sleeve like this. This is if you're in a cold climate. So you can leave your coat in the car. Because you will get so hot trying to shop in a winter coat. Facts. It's a no. Facts. Wear a hoodie or wear something long sleeve so you could just... And then a scarf, maybe, if you need that, too. But I wouldn't even do the scarf. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just go in there with a long sleeve like this. And so you can just run to the car like this. <laughs> you run into the store. She's so you, you only be cold for a little bit. And then there you go. Great. Tip. And you don't have to carry your coat on your arm and all that. Mm. That was a wonderful tip. So that's what we have for you all. I hope you all are in the Christmas spirit. We will be soon. And if uh, she's going to make me. Yes, we will be soon. And let us know some of your holiday favorites down below. I thought you were going to do it with me either. Uh, down, down below. below. <laughs> okay. And don't forget, if y'all want to see anything else, you know, challenges, whatever Tasha wants you guys to, whatever you want on your YouTube, I don't know, like games or something, I don't know. Anything that's Christmas thing, yeah, Christmas well, just, thing. I guess, you know, what do y'all need to get you in the Christmas spirit? Let what us know. What do we need to do to make sure that y'all are and just happy and laughing? Just let us know. You know what I'm saying? All day. All right. See y'all later. Oh, you want me to do that with you too? Yeah. All right.